OK, a hurdle maiden up next, the Cyborgo. Over 18 furlongs, 2 miles and 2. So, gr gr graded Argon for Darren Thompson is number one. Highland Forever, David Robertson. The Power of Dread for Joshua Saddle. And the Favourite, Vocal Chester for Kyle Arrogante. Active and call it a hunch for Obi-Wan. Citizen Zoo for Kevin Meenahan. Grey Nun for Graham Clutterbuck. Swish Villa for Alex Cherry. Ten is Violet Eyes for Molly at Surfer. Just the ten of them. To go over these 18 furlongs here. The white flag's raised and they're away. Wait for them to settle down. through to take us along is going to be Highland Fred, although uh, being pursued by Swiss Villa, hard, they're into the first, they're both over it together as is the remainder, so it's Highland Fred and Swiss Villa, mine to take the lead, Highland Fred's uh, pulled away now, and the one that's drawn alongside Swiss Villa is Graded Argon, they're the one, two, three, then we're about three lengths back to the grey, grey none, they're the two back to Violet Eyes, and they've got Active and Sisters and Sue together. They're followed through by Call It A Hunch and Vocal Chester and the Parrot I can't see at the moment. There's Vocal Chester and the favourite right at the rear, the Power of Dread. So it's Highland Fred in front and the Power of Dread at back. Fred and Dread, Dread Fred. You get to the second. Leaders skip over it, just as the remainder. And it is Highland Fred that still leads from Graded Argon. And about three back to Greenland and Swish Villa together. The length of the violet eyes. They've got well drawn out here. Well, and Fred has uh, got them all Indian file already. We're only just over six furlongs into the race. We're through four flights now. And it's Highland Fred that's going to lead us past the grandstand. And there's the winning post with a circuit to go and a mile and a half to run. So it's Highland Fred from Graded Argon. Grey Nun and Swish Filler. And then one, two, three, four. Followed through by Violet Eyes and Citizen Sue. Call it a hunch and an active for Obi Wan together. Then Vocal Chester. And still at the rear is the Power of Dread. You can't see. We get to the fifth. Everybody skips over it. There's the Power of Dread. A little bit slow over that. And he's probably seven lengths detached. And probably 20 lengths from. Uh, or maybe 15 lengths from the first. Anyway, it's Highland Fred that leads us around this right turn from Graded Argon, Swish Villa and Grey Nump. It's in the same one, two, three, four. Followed through by Violet Eye, Citizen Zoo. Call it a hunch and active together. And a vocal Chester and a power of dread we should see here. We do. It gets over that a little bit better. And, uh, taking a little bit of an advantage, getting back into it a little bit. We're inside the mile now and it's Highland Fred still from Graded Argon, Grey Nun, Swish Villa, Violet Eyes. Nothing really changed. The seventh he jumps over it. There's the power of dread getting closer all the time. But up front, Graded Argon has joined Highland Fred as they take this right turn. We've got Violet Eyes and Grey Nun. Grey Nun under a little bit of pressure now. Trying to run on his citizen Sue, call it a hunch. We get over the eighth of only three hurdles to go, and they took it together, the leaders. The power of dread has managed to tag on to the end, but it's Highland Fred that takes on takes it on now inside the four and a half from Graded Argon. Grey Nun running on well now from Violet Eyes. The Green Sooks of Sisters and Zoo active trying to get back into it. But it's Highland Fred still. And Grey Nun on the outside. Graded Argon. Moving well now is Violet Eyes from Elliot Surfer. As they hit the three furlong pole with just two hurdles to take. It's Highland Fred from Grey Nun. Violet Eyes. Citizen Sue. And it's still Highland Fred. He's stolen the march on everybody now. We're inside the two. We finally get to the ninth. He's over it. There's the favourite cutting his way through the pack, but it's Highland Fred. Leads by a length and a half to Violet Eyes, and then about three back to Grey Nun. It doesn't look like he's got a lot left. They're over the penultimate, running really well as the power of dread, but it's Highland Fred still leads. We're inside the final furlong. He gets over the last. He's over it and away better, but here comes the power of dread. The power of dread's flying. He's in a six furlong sprint. Is Highland Fred? Is he going to get? He's going to get caught. The power of dread. That is a remarkable horse. Tenth all the way round. Coming into the straight, I think he was still probably 14 lengths behind. Amazing, he was 14 lengths behind. Amazing horse that. Power of Dread for Joshua Southern. Great win. Second, Highland Fred for David Robson. Third, Violet Eyes for Molly at Surfer. Fourth was Green Nun for Pontypool. And fifth was Graded Argon for Darren Thompson.